So here we have a dogfish, uh, first fish of the day, but no, no rays so far. So problem with these here is that they have very, very raspy skin. All right, good ways just to hold their tail. All right, okay, never mind. You can see the hook there. There we go. That's a dogfish unhooked. Small member of the cat, fa the, the cat shark family there. Very, very, very common around our Irish coast. There you have it. So guys, here we have my first ever thornback ray there. It's a lovely sized fish. Um, it's a female by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get it unhooked and put it back, but a very thorny texture. Look at that there. Right. So, so we're gonna weigh this thorn back and hopefully release it. To re I, I didn't know it was as thorny as this. All I'm using is one of these we luggage things in a way um just turn it on right, that's it these ones are well accurate here so, I have no idea how heavy this thing is gonna be alright four pounds that is I think well two kilograms so that's about four pounds I think roughly so it's a nice fish So guys, we're okay. going to be releasing our thornback ray, look at him there, her even. The water, revive it a wee bit. Look at the colours of that, that is just amazing there. Someone's got another thornback ray by the sounds of it. Look at him there, come on, swim off, swim off. That's heavy. Is it? Another one. There you go. Is that the water there? Shiny light in the water. Is that the same one? No. Just one. Look at you. Right, that's, that's. There we have a second thornback ray, second fe female. Here's a hook there, perfectly hooked there. Oop. Got me the job of hooking that somewhere. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Got me. Oh. Right. <laughs> Almost had me there. <laughs> um, here, yeah, I'm gonna go get something just to yank it out. Plaster. Cool, come on. Just caught me off guard, didn't he? Uh, it's the dude. Oh. See the way to grab out, look. That was even that. That was a circle hook there. So and there you have the fish. I think I'll have to weigh this one, I'll just put it back. Yep. Right. So guys, we're going to be putting back this fish. That was amazing, that was two rays in seconds. Come on, swim off. Don't play dead on me. Absolutely surprised me. Oh, there. There he goes, gliding off in the tide. Um, keeping to the same rigs, simpler the better, as I found out yesterday. Um, hooks, I'm going to be trying a circle hook on this rod here. Um, I think it's a 12 foot beach caster, bait wise. Just fresh mackerel, yesterday's catch, strips like this onto the hook is what gave me success yesterday. I'm going to try that again. I have a dogfish here, look at him there circle hook that's perfectly hooked and what I did is I was bringing it in and then I just left it two seconds and he just jumped on it straight away. That's a pretty big dog fish, they don't usually get bigger than that. There.
here we have two phone back rates. Um, my third ever phone back uh, female, I think. Looks like a female to me. Amazing pattern of this. Like a fashionable fish. I mean, look at the patterns there. Absolutely amazing. I think it was just on the circle hook. I'll get it on hooked up pliers, but I've been having very good results with these, uh, I think they're devil circle hooks, that's what you call them. They're weird handled sort of hook, but they've been giving very good results for the rays. thrown back as well alive you can hear him every time I take him out of the corner he just crunches his teeth I'm not sure if that's the biggest one but let's find out third ray that I've ever caught it's nice to see okay there that's zero 2.03, that's the biggest ray I've caught there. Meets it by about 200 grams, which is still a difference, so that's the biggest ray. 